Welcome back, my learning and technology friends. I'm glad that you're here. As technology continues to improve, we all benefit. We get faster processing, we get more functionality, it's less complex to use. I know that I, for one, do not miss having to configure an autoexec.bat file so that I can load DOS high, leaving enough memory so I can load my network drivers and attach to my Novell network. That's ancient times. Nowadays, you turn on a computer and you're on a network. But there are certain technologies that I do like. And I'm not talking just about retro gaming and pinball and, and vinyl records. I'm talking about something fairly recent that I think you might want to go out, get one if you don't have one, and look to see if you can get a good deal on it. In this video, we're going to look at five reasons why I still keep my Intel-based Mac Minis and why I find them to be extraordinarily useful for learning and teaching. Let's start with reason number five. I can upgrade these systems. Specifically, I can upgrade the memory. So I can add a lot more memory to my Mac Mini, and that's going to really come into play when I talk about some of the other reasons why I still use the Intel-based Mac Mini. The fact that I can get in and upgrade the hard drive and the memory is very important. With the hard drive, I could always attach an external hard drive so you can expand memory that way as well. Plus, you can use cloud services but the ability to increase the amount of physical memory I have, the RAM that I have on here, is very important to me. Reason number four, these are great for teaching networking. What I'll do is we have a built-in network adapter card, but I can get a little adapter that I can plug into the Mac Mini, and this is now going to give me the ability to have two network adapters in the Mac Mini. That's going to allow me to have a router, that's going to allow me to set up a firewall. Anything where I'm going network to network, I can now accomplish using the Intel-based Mac Mini. Reason number three, I can upgrade the storage on my Mac Mini and I can then use it as a network attached storage device. So I can either put a larger hard drive into the Mac Mini itself, or I can put some external storage on one of the fast ports in order to connect up and use it as a network attached storage device or a NAS. One of the things that's really useful about these devices is that I do not have to run them with a keyboard, monitor, and mouse attached. Once I set up the Mac Mini, I can run this what they call headless. So any storage, anything that I'm doing here, I have a low power device that's not low powered, a low power consumption device that I can use, connect to it remotely, and use it as network attached storage. Reason number two for keeping or finding an old Intel-based Mac Mini is that they're Intel-based. This means that I can install different operating systems directly onto the Mac Mini. I can install Linux on here. I can install Windows on here. I can even install VMware's ESX server on here because those run on Intel-based systems and this is an Intel-based system. I cannot do that on an M1 Mac Mini. On an M1 Mac Mini, I can virtualize some operating systems, but I can't virtualize them all, and I cannot natively install an Intel-based operating system because it's not an Intel-based system. So the hardware on here is Intel-based. I can install Intel-based operating systems directly on here. And the number one reason why I'm still using my Intel-based Mac Minis, and I recommend people go and get them while they're inexpensive and available, is that you can virtualize Intel-based operating systems. So you can run the Mac operating system as your host operating system, but because it's Intel-based, you can also go and virtualize Windows Server, Windows 11. Well, you can do Windows 11 on an M1. You can do Windows 7, Windows uh, you know, 10. You could do all sorts of different Intel-based operating system virtualizations here on the Intel-based Mac Mini. So there you have it, five different reasons why I think you should hang on to your Intel-based Mac Minis if you have them, or if you can find one inexpensively, maybe go out and get one upgrade it a little bit and use it for any of the different projects that I just talked about. They're still very valuable, very powerful computers that I think still have a lot of place in a learning environment or even in a production environment where you need to do some of the things that I discussed in this video.